and hello i am adhino pandit here in this video i am going to say something about uh, the most important topic actually every biomedical engineer should know about it one is calibration another one is troubleshooting so because we are totally dealing with medical equipments we are knowing about medical equipments theoretically and practically okay so the company people most of the company 99 percentage of the companies they are expecting that uh, the medical equipment knowledge the theoretical knowledge we can get through the academics through the books and for the practical knowledge we are going for the internship or the implant training the practical knowledge in the sense how to uh, demonstrate the equipment and order the equipments order the electronic parts inside the equipment that are all well known through the internships or the, through the implant training along with the training and along with the, um, the equipments inside the electronic components the two important things we must know is the calibration and the troubleshooting we must know the difference between the calibrations and uh, troubleshooting. So, see, if the equipment, if you take the equipment, the most important scenario, rather you are knowing about the troubleshooting, you must know calibrations. Calibrating is nothing but testing the particular equipment, whether it is properly functioning or not. Properly is indicating that 100% accuracy is coming or not. Because every medical equipment have some strat uh, some strategies. For example, we are having a normal values in our human body. Vital right? parameters having a normal value, right? 98.4 degree uh, Fahrenheit for uh, the temperature. Okay, like that. Then the, the heartbeat is 72, and the blood pressure is 80 bar of 20. Then the cholesterol rate is there. The glucose level rate is there. Bilirubin level is there. Everything have some numerical values is that that decides that whether the person is a normal or abnormal right like that so many analyzers are there critical care sector for the defibrillator machine that is a separate and a uh, calibrating analyzer is there for the ventilator there is a separate calibrating tool is there okay like that each and every equipment have different calibrating tool before you are going to use it in the market before you are going to uh, use that particular thing to the patient we need to calibrate, for the biomedical engineer in the hospital, we need to calibrate the particular equipment, whether it is properly functioning or not. This is called as a calibration. Okay. Then, troubleshooting. Once you are using the particular equipment continuously, the particular equipment not give the signal, the particular equipment not give any display, the particular equipment not give any pulses, it is not receiving any impulses. These kind of the equipment have some of the troubles inside the components. It should not be get the, uh, the electrical current properly. It should not be send the piece electric through the piece electric. It should not be send the ultrasound properly. If there is any circuit connection, circuit in imperfections. So the circuit imperfections are called as the troubles. So the medical equipment not properly functioning. Once you are plugging it. If once you are switch on the particular uh, uh, equipment, it should not be on. So, if there is any short circuit inside it, or if there is any troubles inside it, so if you need to check that particular trouble and shoot, try to shoot the particular trouble, that is called as a troubleshooting. So, before you are enter, before you are submitting the equipment to the patient, the calibration required, whether the particular equipment is functioning properly or not, that is calibration. Troubleshooting is, once you are using the particular equipment, in the, the unconditionally the particular equipment may not on properly or it should not be uh, properly executing the radiations, it should not be properly executing the ultrasound. So in this particular thing, the troubleshooting is required. We need to find out where the trouble is and shoot the trouble according to that. This is called a troubleshoot. So, Calibration is entirely different, troubleshooting is entirely different, but both the calibration and troubleshooting skill is required for each and every biomedical engineers. So in a later on video, I am giving more number of things about calibration and more number of the things required on troubleshooting. Okay, thank you very much, keep following.